What's up guys, this is Dan from Dan's Recovery, and I'm um, doing a first uh, interview for this video with my friend here, and hopefully it goes good. Uh, would you like to introduce yourself? Thanks for having me, Dan, I appreciate it. Yeah. Awesome, man. Yeah. Huh. You want to introduce yourself? Yeah, so my name's Chris Lacko. I'm 42 years old, I'm in recovery now with Four years, three months, 27 days, clean and sober. And when I say sober, that I mean not a sip, pill, baggy, joint, no caffeine, I quit everything. Oh, wow, nice. Yep. So, um, so now as my journey came on, since I surrendered, okay. I just found other things in life to claim for. Right. Because I was sick of trying to push everything away. Yeah. So that's how we met. Yeah. And our journey of recovery, man. Nothing better. Right, yeah. Alright, so... Uh, how was addiction, or... How has addiction affected your life? That's an awesome question, man. Mm -hmm. There's so many different ways to answer this, too. Mm -hmm. You know, it started... I first started using it at 17. Mm -hmm. I just didn't want to be me. Right. I was deaf. I didn't have the cochlear implant that I have now. Yeah. So I just wanted to sweep all my emotions under a carpet of booze and drugs. Yeah. So I didn't have to face reality. Mm. And what happened was over time, when you're sucked into this life, I stopped hanging out with my real friends. Mm. And I just started hanging out with people who had all this, the gear. Yeah. And other people that would just get messed up. Mm. Yeah. So I think that was the... That affected me the most is... Losing a lot of people. I was burning a lot of bridges. Yeah. And now, in recovery, it's so awesome to build bridges. Because mm. we don't have to tell anybody anything anymore. Right. We get to show them. Yeah. And most importantly, show ourselves that we're worth this trend. Right. And we'll stop at nothing. Yeah. Hmm. So I think it affected me negatively for 18 years. Mm. But now, it affects us positively if we look at it that way. Right. I'm grateful for all the crap that we had to go through mm. to bring us right here. Yeah. 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 I don't so, want to do it anymore, right. but I'm yeah. grateful we got we made it out. Yeah, that's a good way to look at it. Yeah. Try to have some gratitude with it. Right, yeah. You know? Yeah, yeah. never thought of it that way. And I'm going to, I would need to learn how to grab onto things that make me motivated like you. Yeah, man. It's pretty cool. <clears throat> Just find, find a reason to climb. Yeah. I don't want to. The fact that we were able to get off all that stuff, yeah. why let everything else take over our life? Right. You know, if it, yeah. I had to quit smoking, I had to quit yeah. everything in my mind yeah. to live a fruitful life. Right. It's pretty cool, man. That's awesome. Every week I see something a little differently. Mm. I watch a movie that I used to hate, now I like it. Yeah. Recovery brings yeah. such a cool new state of mind to everything. Right, yeah. It never ends, man. There's always yeah. something cool around the corner coming. Right, yeah. Mm -hmm. So, how hard was it for you to get clean and sober? Oh, man. <clears throat> I wanted to get clean and sober so bad for so many years, mm -hmm. but I didn't want to work for it. Mm -hmm. I just wanted to snap my finger. Yep. And just be like, you know what, I'll, go, I'll quit Monday. Mm -hmm. If not this Monday, the Monday after. But one of these Mondays, I'm going to quit, you know? Yep. But what happened was, I went to rehab in the past, and I felt great when I left. Mm -hmm. But I didn't go to meetings, I didn't get a sponsor, I didn't do any step work, no commitment. Yep. So I went right back out. Mm. So, it's very simple. Yep. It's just not easy. Mm. So, um, basically I burned every bridge in my life up until July 8th of 2018. Mm. And I wanted to end my life that night. That's the night I tried to... And my own life. Oof. And um, I didn't want to die, <clears throat> but I was done living. Right, yeah, I understand that. I just had nothing left to live for in my mind. Mm -hmm. yeah. And I wanted to die. And uh, luckily, uh, somebody intervened that night and they were pull me out. Good. So it's simple, but it's not easy. Right. But the beautiful thing is, is when you're ready, you'll know you surrender. You mm -hmm. surrender everything to the program yep. and say I would do anything they asked me to do uh, and that's when the beauty starts I did 93 meetings in 90 days I found a sponsor started doing you know commit, taking commitments at meetings mm. 
So now you need it at a meeting, like all these things start to work together in harmony. Yeah. And over time you start to, other people start to see us change. Yeah. Like, wow, you, you're talking different, you're acting different. Yeah. Isn't that so cool that we don't have to tell nobody nothing? Right. Yeah. We get to do it. Yeah. Huh. That's nah, beautiful. Yeah. So how many times did you relapse, if you don't know <laughs> Oh, answer? man. It felt like just a never-ending very occurrence to relapse. Mm. I feel like if we, if we have some clean time and then we pick up again and then clean time pick up, yeah. none of those are... I realize now I fully surrendered. Mm. I would just dabble. Mm. You know, man, maybe I'll try this or I'll do a little bit of that. Yeah. But surrendering is everything. Mm. I would do anything they tell me to do. Yeah. Mm. And um, so I must have relapsed, I don't know, mm. dozens of times. Mm. Yeah. I know. I, I so many times I like I quit. Mm -hmm. I'm done. I'm never drinking again. You know all yeah. the stuff we all said that are watching this. I'm never mm -hmm. gonna drink again. Yeah. But um, but I don't want to work. I just want to snap my finger and be like I'm never drinking. Right. But the, the to my mind, no matter how many teams times we relapse, we're always worth another chance. Yeah. Everyone is. Yeah. And I think being dry is one thing, but living sober. Mm. It's a whole other thing. We find a whole new freaking cool ass way to live. Right, yeah. Staying dry is not drinking, but you're. Uh, mm. Yeah. I don't want that weight on my shoulder. We don't need that shit. No. If we find a whole new way to live. It's it's beautiful, man. It's awesome. Yeah. Spend a hell of a trip. Yeah. So what made you decide to put the drugs and alcohol down for good? Yeah. Oh wow, that's a good question, man. Mm. I know, in July of eighteen, my girlfriend left me and. My family disowned me. Mm -hmm. I had no money. I had no food. Yeah. My truck was falling apart. Mm. I was calling AAA twice a week to come and give me a gallon of gas because I kept running out. Yeah. Um, I realized I was living in my friend's crawl space in his attic oh. on a twin size box spring. Mm. Not a mattress, a box spring. Yeah. Twin size, I'm six foot three. Mm. And I realized um, I can't do this anymore. Mm. I can't, I just could not, every day when we're out there using it on the street, every day is worse than the last. Yeah. There's no days off. Mm. As soon as we wake up, we get a fix. That's yeah. it. Yeah. Family, career, all that stuff just gets pushed to the wayside to get me my fix. Yeah. Yeah. So I, by the time I couldn't get my fix anymore, and if, you guys, if you're like me, toward the end, I was spending a thousand a week to just not be sick. Mm. I, was in, I didn't get high the last five or six years I was using you know, so I decided on July 9th of 2018, mm. I surrendered. Mm. I would do anything. Mm. And I was able to turn my whole mindset around about everything in life. Mm. They talk about the no matter what club and meanings and stuff. Mm. No matter what, all over our life. Mm. I'm going to eat healthy no matter what. I'm going to work out no matter what. Yeah. Mm. And I'm going to help other people too no matter what. That, it brings so much gratitude to our life. It changes Everything, dude. Yeah. If, if we do one extreme of picking up a changer to another extreme of, of working out and getting stronger, yeah. nothing can stop us, man. Uh, yeah. Nothing. Mm. Yeah, yeah. I know. Mm. What, would, what would or is your message of hope? Wow. You know, we're all worth another chance. Yeah. I think my message, there's so many cool messages I've heard over the years from other people, mm. like to use fear as a counselor and not a jailer. You know, if we're scared of something, that's okay. Yeah. It doesn't mean we're invincible, you know, we're fearless, we fear it, but we do it anyway. Yeah. I was so scared to stop doing heroin and crack because of the withdrawals mm. and all the stuff behind it. Yeah. But if we want to get off that shitty island, we got to make it through the break wave to hit calm seed. Mm -hmm. So if, if you're willing to do this, you know, go to rehab, a detox or whatever, mm -hmm. there's such an awesome life on the other side of this. Mm -hmm. If anybody's struggling, it's just, just it's, it's amazing. Yeah. And <clears throat> since I surrendered, I was able to win, you know, three world championships on wrestling mm -hmm. with my, lad my latest in France three weeks ago. Right. Yeah. Started my own clothing brand, so we're high. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Take acting classes, auditioning for stuff. Mm. It's 
I did, we, did, we do nothing when we're using. Right. And now in recovery, we can do absolutely anything. Hmm. And we don't have to know what we're doing. We just have to want it. Yeah. If you want it bad enough, if you want it more than you want that drug, hmm. nothing can stop anybody. Yeah. Huh. So that, that's my message. Is don't stop at nothing and don't give up. If you're struggling, if you're watching this and you feel trapped, it's okay. There's a way out. Yeah. Go to a meeting, raise your hand and say, this is how I feel. Get phone numbers, find a way to live. Yeah. Hmm. yeah. That's awesome. Always hope, brother. Okay. So, um, yeah. I invited him to do an interview because I like his energy. And it's always, as he puts it, always a powerhouse. And I I like that energy. And hmm. gets every, every week I see him, I leave the meeting. Feeling good. Yeah, I do. Because his energy rubs off on me, and I'm sure it rubs off on everyone else. Hmm. So, yeah. yeah. If we can help, if we can help one person in recovery, man, it's worth it. Oh yeah, that's it's so worth it. it. That's what I started here. I I wanted to help people, but I set a small goal. If right. I can help this one person, then I'd be satisfied. It's worth it. Yep. And I, I always, I like to say that the road to someday leads to the town of nowhere. Right. We can start this journey right now. Mm-hmm. Our brains are so powerful. We, we can draw the line of the sand right where we're watching this or sitting here. Yeah. Be like, I refuse to do that anymore. Mm. If I'm going to quit smoking cigarettes, eat healthy, go to the gym, it can start right, we don't have to wait till Monday or when our bills are in order. Yeah. We can start right now. Yeah. And it's just powerful, man, once you start shifting other aspects of your life around. Yep. It's fucking awesome, man. Yeah. There's no better way to live. Oh, that's the trip. Oh, yeah. So I'm just happy to be here tonight, just talking with you. Yeah. This is just as good as a meeting to me. Yeah. Two addicts talking together. Yeah. What's better than that? Right. Nothing. Nothing. Yeah. Nothing's better. Well, that's my son is coffee. Hell yeah, dude. Yeah. Hell yeah. And, and, and who knows what's coming down the road? Right. If we used, we know what's coming down the road. Jails, institutions, and death. Right. Yeah. If we're in recovery, anything can happen. Yep. And then hopefully this channel blows up after this video. Yeah. You know, we get some viewers in and everybody commenting. Yeah. Leave some comments where everybody's, where everybody's at in their life and we can compare yeah. our journey, man. Yeah. What's the best? Yeah. And uh, don't forget to like and share this video if you think anyone would like to hear this message. And uh, subscribe. Awesome, brother. So, my man. Thank you. My man. My pleasure. Uh, that's all I have for tonight. Perfect. Sorry about that. That's perfect, brother. Yeah. I think you nailed it. Yeah. Okay. So, it's a good day. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, huh? I think next right now, I'm push. I'm slowing down the arm wrestling. Hmm. And I'm gonna put a little bit more time into acting. Oh. Okay. And then April at the national championships. I think they're gonna be in California this year. Hmm. And then if I get through those, I, uh, we fly to Malaysia next September. Oh, nice. For the fourth title. Nice. Uh, I still have no idea what I'm doing with anything, dude. Like, yeah. I, I wish I could say, oh, this is how I do it. I have no fucking clue. Yeah. But I just want it, man. If we want it, that's it. Yeah. Nobody can get in the way. If we want yeah. a drug, mm-hmm. nobody can get in the way. Right. If we put that same to this goal up here, no one can stop that. It's yeah. impossible. Yeah. And I'm not, I am not the smartest dude ever. Yeah, I'm a slow learner, yeah. very slow learner. Yeah. But there's smart people that don't have willpower and they give up. Right. Yeah. It's the ones that just keep chugging, keep grinding, mm. day in, day out, in recovery. You can't stop that. Right. Impossible. Yeah. I would take a grinder over somebody who's smart mm. and just useless talent. Right. I'll take the grinder 10 out of 10 times, man. Yeah. And that's what we do. We're just grinding, hitting meetings, going to work, do whatever we got to do. Yeah. Oh yeah. Uh uh-uh. But uh, you like to do the outro? What's that? The outro? The end of the video? The outro? Yeah. Uh, Let's see here. That's a good idea for an outro. Hmm. Whatever happens, don't ever give up. Hmm. I don't care how many times we go back out in the street and people say we're hopeless. Don't ever stop trying to get better. Because there's always a way, and no matter what. 
And uh, if we have supporters out there, that's awesome. Hold them tight. Yeah. And if we have non-believers, those people are very special too. Hmm. Any haters or non-believers, very important people in my life. I like to hold them right here in my heart as well. Yeah. So no matter what, don't pick up. Yeah. Don't pick up no matter what. And at least when we wake up tomorrow, we have another chance. Right, yep. That's it. Yep. All Boom. Right. Yep. All right. Uh, yeah. Everyone have a good night, and God bless. Hell yeah.